According to the victim's mother, the rape incident took place on the 5th of this month at Biro Village. She narrates that the stepfather called the mentally challenged girl from her grandmother's house to assist him with some household chores. The mother further maintained that when she finished, she was told to go into her sibling's room and wait for him there. He followed after her, threw her on the bed, and then raped her. When he finished, he gave her dirty clothes to go and wash, and she was also told to go bath. He did this deliberately in order to conceal evidence. Even when I arrived home later that day, I found that the house was mopped, dishes were cleaned, and the clothes which she was sent to wash were still hanging on the line. She said when the family members interrogated the stepfather with regard to the accusations leveled against him, he threatened to commit suicide should the matter be reported to the police. The family members were not deterred. They proceeded to the police to open a case, but to their surprise, the police first allegedly refused to register their case, citing insufficient evidence. We were told that this was a very complicated case because there was no sufficient evidence. But they assured us that they will collect any available evidence. They further told us to see a medical doctor who will carry out an examination. Once we obtain the doctor's result, it will be forwarded to the head office for a final decision to be made, whether to arrest the suspect or not. But the whole process will take at least six months to be completed. The mother fears that justice will not prevail due to the reluctance of the police to arrest the suspect. I want the law enforcement officers, including the Minister of Justice, to put themselves in my shoes. If the incidents happened to one of their family members, would they be saying the same thing, that there is no evidence? This is not the first time that the said suspect is committing such a crime. He was once arrested in 2012 on a charge of rape but he was later released after he won the case due to lack of evidence. Meanwhile, the rape victim's biological father told our news team that this is not the first time that his daughter is falling victim to rape. He indicated that she was first raped when she was 16 years old, but this case was never reported to the police because she was raped by an uncle.